Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hello, I'm Kim, nice to meet you. Today I have a haul video for you. So I've been collecting pieces since my last video. Now I thought, oh, that was a few weeks ago that I did a video. Turns out it was more like a couple of months. So I've been collecting these pieces here for the last couple of months. So bear that in mind if you're like, oh yeah, I like that, I'm gonna go and get that because some things were earlier on, some things were from this week, last week. So I'll let you know when I did get them, but bear that in mind. If you didn't see my last video, I had a big clear out. I was just not happy with my wardrobe. Hardly anything would fit me and I didn't like the style and I just had a big clear out. I thought I'm gonna start again. So I am starting again. And these are the pieces that I'm happy with, that I actually like, that actually fit that I actually wear. So let's crack on with the haul video. I'm gonna start with Primark. Now, lots of things here from Primark. I feel like I have a Primark problem. I don't think that's a new thing. I'm like a moth to the flame when I see Primark. I'm like, I'm just gonna nip in, just gonna nip in and have a look. And nine times out of 10, I see something that I like. The first thing, a wide leg pair of trousers. Now I'll put some cutaways in of me trying these on or outfits that I've been wearing these with. So this is like a greyish colour. They need to go in the wash because I've spilled things on them, but I thought I'd keep them to the side to show you before I put them in the wash. And this has a cream panel down the side. It's a wide leg with a stretchy waistband. We all love elasticated waistbands. Well, I do anyway. So it's elasticated. So it's kind of like that happy medium between a jogger and a trouser. It's like a smart cash trouser. And I'm really, really enjoying wearing wide leg trousers like this. They're comfortable. I feel a bit more put together, a bit more stylish, but as I said, comfy. Comfort is king here. Now I've had these a good few weeks now. So for price wise, if I know the price, I'll put it on the screen. Or if I can find out, I'll put it somewhere. If not, I'm sorry. But I believe they're still available. Be wearing them with a chunky trainer. These are old from Zara, but just to give you an idea. Anyway, you'll see that on the cutaway. Next up, now this one was a bit like, oh, oh, kind of vibe because I really like it. We've got a stripe problem as well. Primark and stripes. It's a big problem. But this is a long tube skirt. I think they call it a tube skirt because it's long and tubey. It's a stretchy material. And yes, yeah, so the reason I've been avoiding skirts like this is because it's not particularly flattering on the tummy. And I do have a tummy. But I got to the point now where I'm like, just get over it. Get over it. You don't have a flat stomach. Okay, no one cares. So I've been wearing it and I've been loving it. And the way I've been styling it, I feel really confident in it. So it's kind of Sod, sod the tummy, who cares? It's all about how you feel in the outfit. See, I'm even doing the head. That's how much I like this skirt. So I put a cutaway in of me wearing this skirt. Now I am five foot four and it is a very good length for me. I feel like it is anyway. They do other patterns of this as well that I've seen, but I really like the stripe. Again, with the stripe going across like this, you're not meant to, are you? No, silly sausage. It's going to widen that tummy. Who cares? It looks good. I like it. So I'm really, really happy with this. Now, I've been styling this with a, a black jacket that, can I find it anywhere? I think Ian's been, the person who's stealing the leggings, it's got my jacket. I feel like it might be at work. I put the cutaway in of me wearing the jacket. It's like a really soft kind of suede material. And it's kind of like a biker jacket style well you'll see from the cutaway and i think it looks really nice with the skirt okay next up another thing i see yeah as i've pulled it together i'm actually like do you know what you are doing well kim you're buying things you like and you're actually wearing them well done how how bizarre is that concept next up is this trench coat and it's in this olive green color it's like a soft pastel -y olive if that's a good description initially i wanted a tan color because i thought that would really tie in with a basics kind of wardrobe. Like if you're building your wardrobe back up, you want to go for kind of classic colours. But the one they had in store was way too long for me. The arms were too long. It just, it kind of swamped me a bit. Whereas the fit of this, I absolutely love. And actually this colour has been quite versatile. See, see with my stripe obsession, 
it goes. So I've been really enjoying wearing that. It has a tie around the waist. I like to ruche up the sleeves a bit as well. And it's great for this time of year when it's spring. Is it spring? Is it winter? Is it summer? Who knows kind of weather just to chuck it on to layer up. Okay, so this top I'm wearing from Primark. I don't think this is available anymore because it was the beginning of the year. I feel like everyone bought it and then I haven't seen it since. However, lots of shops are doing this style of cardigan. So it's a cardigan with, um, it's not a gold button. It's kind of like in between -y, like a soft gold button knitted cardi. Now, I think it's very now because I believe it's a takeoff of some designer who I have no idea, but I've seen a lot of shops doing it. So there's other versions of these out there. If you like the look of this and plain cream ones as well. But I thought this is a staple for me. Black and white stripe, Chanel kind of style, gold buttons. I just think it's really nice. And I think this would come out again next year until it, however long it lasts. So yeah, really, really like this. It's from that Paula, Paula Escheron. No, that's not Escheron. Paula Escheraria. I have no idea who this lady is. Does anyone actually know? I don't know who she is. I apologise, Paula, because you're going to be watching this. Um, but I'm not too sure who this lady is, but she's done a collection. That's where this is from. I'm basically reading it off of this because this is her newer collection and it's a chunky silver necklace. I'm enjoying wearing chunky jewellery at the moment. So I bought this because I already had the gold version. I don't know if this is from the same collection or not, but I bought the gold. So it's just like a nice chunky gold chain. But I thought for silver days, I bought a silver one as well. And that's £4.50. Before I actually move on to accessories, just a couple of t-shirts, a stripey boxy t-shirt. Oh, stripes, what a surprise, but really versatile, good to wear with jeans. And it's a really, really lovely material. It's quite a heavy GT fabric. And I also got a cream one, which I picked up when I went in there recently and I haven't worn this one yet, but it's the same kind of fit, the boxy, style now this one is 12 pounds and both of these are from the primark edit so which is i don't know like the thicker material section or something i don't know but anyway yeah a couple of basic t-shirts that are good quality and then i'm going on holiday in may june so i'm starting to collect bits for that and a couple of things the tags are still on because i haven't worn them because they're for holiday okay we're not going back to that place of having items in my wardrobe with tags on this is holiday okay so this is a basic white shirt to wear over a bikini or when you're you know sashaying is that a word down the beach you might have a bit of a cover-up so we've got the white and we've got a blue so i've seen this color dotted around in the shops and i think oh that would gold jewelry red lips and just being a bit like like that i'm going to dubai so i'm feeling like getting all jazzed up and blingied up blingied up i don't know just wearing a bit more color chunkier jewelry big earrings that kind of vibe and i really like this color so i've got the same in the blue these are eight pounds each i've got a size medium which is a 12 to 14 which is a nice loose fit so yeah, the cream and the blue in those. I just realised how much Primark stuff I've got. Let's keep on going. Bought this bag. So this is a crossbody bag. And I realised when I was looking in my wardrobe that I don't have a black crossbody bag like this. So there we go. There was the gap in the wardrobe. But I just wanted something that is hands-free, fits enough stuff in there but not too much i can get my phone in there i can get keys purse just essential bits and bobs it's a really soft material it's like a faux leather but it's really yes yeah, like, oh that feels nice they do different colors and then they do like a fabricy one as well but that was i thought that was quite nice i feel like i've got to go quick because there's so much stuff then i got okay so i need to work out what's what with these because i've been buying holiday outfits and getting my holiday stuff out 
but I need accessories. Okay, I need belts. I need bits and bobs, bits and bobs. So I bought a load of belts, and I need to work out what works, what doesn't, and then take it, take whatever doesn't work back. So you might be like, "Blind me, Kim! How many belts does one girl need? Not that many." But I need to try things on. And I can't take my stuff to the shop. That would be really weird, wouldn't it? With my suitcase. Just want to try this on. How many have you got? Um, 50 from home. So I've got this pack of two belts. One brown, one black with gold hardware. For cinching in. They, they £2.50 for the two. And then I bought three of these belts here. I think I've had one of these long ago in the past but this would be for cinching things in for you know if I wanted to put a belt over it I don't know a shirt or something or with a dress but I need to work out what colour or all three who knows I don't know I need to try them out but they're four pounds each I've got size medium it's got the cream the tanny kind of creamy colour and the black so I need to have a play around with those then this chain belt because i thought i'm gonna be living my best life in dubai i need to have a chain belt because that's what we do when we go on holiday to dubai we bling ourselves up so i thought i'd try that but the nice thing about this is it doesn't quite pick it up on the camera it's two-tone it's kind of like gold and silver but quite a soft gold so it kind of like blends in quite nicely so it's quite versatile in terms of chainage then a pack of bracelets i thought this says holiday to me this is what i visualize i'm walking down the beach sounds like christmas actually no just i don't know we all need we need a stack of bracelets this is a stack of wiggly bracelets i thought they're quite pretty these are three pounds fifty i think it goes really nicely with my crystal bracelet as well and I'm just gonna do a little bit of a shameless plug here if you are after crystal bracelets to add a pop of color into your outfit which i will be doing on my planar outfits if i think oh well, i want to add a pop of blue or a pop of pink or something like that we have lots of crystal bracelets at the moment something i've been working on um, at work if you don't know i'm known to feel good crystals this is a shameless plug She's turned into a shameless plug, I'm sorry. But I've been working a lot on the bracelet side of things. So I'll put a link down below if you're after anything like this to elevate your stack. So that's that. And then I have some little clips because I'm basically wearing my hair up all the time and I'm actually getting it cut this week. But when I do tie it up and I want to clip it, normal size clips like I take over my head. I know I've got a big head, but I don't have enough hair because my hair's so fine. A clip, clipping that up just looks silly. So I thought I'm going to try a little clip. And I think that will work quite well. And they're quite nice colours like tortoise shell and pearly ones. They are three pounds. And then this, there's two things actually that you're going to go, huh, silly sausage. I bought this bag. So I was like, that's Dubai. And then I was like, it looks like it's come out of Effie's dressing up box. I was in the moment. I was in the moment. Um, there we go. I might actually give it to Effie. How much was this? Seven pounds. Seven pounds. The chain's nice. But I was like, oh yeah. But actually, it's it's not quite right. So I think that would be going back. Or to Effie. Then this one, you're definitely going to be like, Kim, take that back. Take it back now. Because throwback i'm just gonna i don't know how to talk my way into this but we're going with the whole blingy belt thing and blingy holiday okay so i saw this belt and i was like it just reminds me of my youth oh there we are do we even need to say anything i had a choker like this i had a bracelet like this i had matching every i probably had a hairband now i've got a belt I feel like it's been missing all my life and now I've found it. Four pounds. It was four pounds. I think back in the day when I bought a choker like that, they were quite expensive. I remember them being expensive. Oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> With a bikini. 
yeah 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 and i would i would do it on my holidays i'll take the tag off obviously so anyway i am going to style things up and actually see if it looks how horrendous it looks basically can i get away with it is it like nostalgia oh lovely in the belt or is it like love stop <laughs> give it up but anyway that's my little thing to play around with but they are going to match something okay that it gets even worse it matches something right there so these are non-negotiable these are not going back these are from um river island and i love these so these are staying so you can say what you want da, 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 da. slides they are the hermes kind of shape it's a dupe obviously I imagine they were from hermes they're real diamonds um i thought that screams dubai to me diamonds on my feet and then i thought oh you know maybe no that doesn't go but i love them they're very holiday they're very blingy and then i got a matching belt yes getting excited so these are 30 pounds from river island and i'm yet to style them up they'll work with anything i love them they're staying yes another thing from primark that i got not primark um river island are these shorts very sparkly and spangly so like a lightweight short and then it's got gold thread running through it and then at the bottom we have gems we have a gem problem as well clearly but you know the holiday shorts those are my shoes and my belt aren't going to be reflective but i'll be happy so these are a size medium I'm not too sure what that translates to i'm assuming 12 to 14 these are 30 pounds did i realize that at the time i think it's the i think it's the diamonds bringing the price up but they fit nicely and i've got a few other things that are currently in my wardrobe that i think they would go well with i'm probably not going to try on the holiday stuff because i need to sort myself out before i show my body off another thing from river island this pair of wide leg trousers but it's like a, a silky satin um it's like this all oh, this blush blush champagne color and i thought for an evening going out for a meal with these would be really nice i need to get ian to take them up he is my seamstress so i thought yes if i don't want to have my legs out but i want to yeah dress up of an evening then these kind of pajamary looking but who cares these would be lovely with a, a top i need to work out what top to go with it but it's a start and how much are these these are 30 pounds it's a really gorgeous color love them yes I can, i've got a visual idea of an outfit i've just got to find the top i've actually just put these on to do a cutaway and I've realised how static they are. They're just sticking to my legs. What do I do? You can't get an under trouser for a trouser, can you? Just stick to my leg. But I found, or I dug out my blinging heels and they match perfectly. Um, so I don't know what to do. What do you do? It's, they stick to me. Is there a solution here? What do I do? I don't know. But this outfit, Imagine a, maybe not this cream top, but a cream top like with well, this kind of colour with these and those. Oh, I'd actually wear it with this t-shirt as well, like this. With a necklace of some sort, I don't know. Oh, damn. What do I do? What do I do? Because you can really see, look, you can really see the shape of my leg. That's not a vibe, is it? Especially with the colour. Looks a bit weird. They match so well. Yeah. Next up from Marks and Spencers, I've got a pair of linen trousers in the blue because they would match my shirt, kind of, if you squint. That's close enough. It's not really, is it? They're both blue, they're fine. Cobalt blue, a wide leg, linen trouser, elasticated waist. These are size 14, a short leg, and I feel like they fit my leg length well and these are 25 pounds so yes i thought maybe with the white 
all the blue who cares blue on blue and i've actually got a blue cozy as well which is like this color so i thought i could go full on blue with gold that would look quite nice then another wide leg pair of trousers so this it's very similar in style to the Primark ones, the greyish kind of colour. But this is a navy with a cream stripe down the side. Now this is a short leg. These are slightly shorter than the Primark ones. So ideally, I would have something in between the two if I was going to pick. Um, but these fit fine with the chunky trainer. Again, elasticated waist. Marks and Spencers have other colours in these as well, so I think I'm going to go back and get other colours. I'm sure there's a, a black. I'm sure there's ones with colours down the side as well, maybe like a red stripe. But I think for days when you just want to be like smart casual trainers top, but it's kind of a bit more put together because it's a trouser. Yeah, loving it. Then this shirt. Do you call this cheesecloth? Is it cheesecloth? I always debate this this material i think it is i think that's what you call it a cream or off-white shirt and i thought this could be dressed up or dressed down on holiday and for spring and it's got a cami underneath which is attached i believe yeah it's attached but you can cut that off i guess i think that's just having it in the shop um but you can have it over over other camis over other tops or have it buttoned up as more of a smart kind of evening top. And I thought, yeah, that's I quite like that. It's a bit different as a cover up kind of shirt. This is a size 12 regular length, regular length. Do they have different lengths, different arm lengths? I don't know. I would fold this up anyway, ruche it up. 39.50, that's quite expensive really, but that is a come out every year kind of top, isn't it? Definitely uh, every year top that one. Then next, went to next, next, and I picked these up. Now this is my bring it home, try it on, think about it shoe. I really like these. They are quite heavy though. I know it looks a bit obvious with the sole being quite that chunky. Do you feel a little bit heavy? I thought with my tube skirt, a chunky sandal would work quite well. And I've seen other people style these up and I'm like, oh, yeah, I think I actually quite like them. And I really like the fact that the hardware is black as well. So, yes, this is a let's play around with this and see. These were 38. So I want to be sure I definitely like them and I'm definitely going to wear them. And I think like, oh, looking at them in the camera. Oh, yes, I do really like them. I do. I do like you. We just need to make sure... I've got outfits for them because this is what I do. I buy them and go, oh yeah, these are lovely. I might wear it with that skirt. But then if I don't actually put the outfits together, then they kind of get left. So yes, I need to work out outfits. Otherwise they go back. Right, so I'm just trying the sandals on with the skirt and a boxy tee. I do like it. I'm going to state the obvious. They feel clunky. <laughs> but they are a clunky sandal. Clunky, chunky. Yeah. Let me know what you think of that. Is it, is it, I don't know, I'm going to have to do the sandal dance to work out. <laughs> Does it go? Does it not? Am I going to wear it? Still undecided. And then the last item is, well, you can see that that's a clue. It's a sequin skirt. Didn't even build it up there. It's a sequin skirt from Never Fully Dressed. Now this, yes, it's sequin. But how versatile is that? <laughs> Actually, it is because you can wear it at Christmas and you can wear it on holiday. You can wear it whenever you want. I've got my own shop. I could wear it every day if I wanted to. Kim, yes, you could. Do it. Just wear it. It's a sparkly skirt. Makes me happy. It's a wraparound skirt. I haven't worn it yet because I'm saving it for holiday. But I think this was £100, I believe. But the quality is really, really good. So in terms of sequin material, it's lined, it's beautiful. I would wear this at Christmas. You can wear it. There's different ways to style it that they show on their Instagram feed of different ways to tie it as a skirt. I believe you can even wear it as a dress somehow. Um, but to me, this was my 
this was my you you wear what you want okay you love that buy it and wear it and do it that was that was what that meant to me when i bought it and i can just see myself on holiday wearing that with a, a white shirt tucked in maybe some nice sandals not those because they won't go but i just feel so i feel so lovely in this i'm really happy with it so yes that's that's not going anywhere i love it oh i forgot about this one this is from primark so this is a knitted tank a cream knitted tank now when i first bought this i thought oh arms i don't like my arms out like the tops of my arms um am i gonna wear this but then i thought hang on a minute you wear camis all the time so why don't you wear this instead of a cami underneath jackets and things and that's exactly what i did so i've been wearing blazers and been wearing this under a blazer and it kind of elevates it a bit because it's not just like a plain cami it's got a bit of it's got something different to it and also it keeps me warm because it's been a little bit nippy it's like a creamy color and that was from primark so yes i'm pleased with that <sighs> right so there we go what do you think of what i've bought i think i've done really well actually because apart from the holiday stuff I've worn everything and I've been styling it up and really thinking about it. And for example, with um, the chunky sandals, I'm really going to take my time and go, what am I going to wear that with? Would I actually go to that and go, yeah, I'm going to wear that and that and that. So just being a bit more mindful is what I'm trying to say. So I'm really pleased with, yeah, with what I've got so far. And I think for the holiday stuff, that's a whole other genre in itself that I need to start working out but for the staple bits and bobs i'm quite happy so what was your favorite thing in my collective haul from the past couple of weeks i'm trying to find my sparkly belt of joy found it come on can you please comment down below if you had this in whatever form when you were younger or if you, if you have this belt and wear 